Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about a middle grade fantasy book that I just recently finished. It's called Autumn Eternal by Kyle Bagsby. Kip Carringer is a 12 year old boy living in the town of Arno where he is constantly ridiculed by kids from his school for what seems to be no apparent reason as bullying often goes. The town of Arno is known famously for being autumn eternally as the book suggests. And that is very strange to the main character Kip, who starts noticing some strange things happening within his town, more so than usual, as his town is a very weird place in general. But he seems to be the only one who notices the strange things going on in his town, including birds who moo, and he tries to bring that to the attention of his good friend named Marley. He tries to explain to her that he has read books where birds chirp and tweet, and she's always been like, no, Kip, birds moo. Um, so that's a very strange element to this story where you get to see some strange things that everyone seems to think is normal in this town. He tries to explain to his friend Marley that there are strange things going on and she doesn't quite understand where he's coming from and he tells her that he thinks it's because there is a witch in the woods. He tries to convince her to go with him to find this witch. She agrees only if he decides to join her in the autumn play which he did not want to do because he used to be in the same exact play and he had a very embarrassing moment. Things become even stranger within the town after Kip and Marley go into the woods to search for the witch. And Kip and Marley find themselves in a strange adventure full of mystery and terror. Hi, my name is Sarah Cater and you're watching Aliens, Clones, and Airships. So I received Autumn Eternal by Kyle Bagsby for an honest review. Autumn Eternal is a very sweet middle grade fantasy book about a young boy living with his aunt and uncle who are very nice, unlike most books where kids are taken in by their relatives. And I think this book is perfect for kids within the ages of 6 and 14. It is a short book of only 86 pages, so it's a very quick read for young kids who aren't invested in reading longer books yet. And this book covers bullying, magic, mystery, terror, courage, and love. And it has adorable creatures who are also slightly mischievous, who like to steal pie, set fires, do some crazy things, and also birds that moo. Sisters, brothers, parents, older relatives will enjoy reading this book to their children, the children who are the ages that this is intended for. It's a really good introduction to the fantasy genre for young kids. I think that it doesn't have a very complex story. It doesn't have a lot to think about. It's very simple, but it has magic and it's interesting and it's funny. The characters are relatable, so I think that's great. It has a character that you feel really bad for, but you also can relate to because he is just your typical young kid who is bullied. We all have friends who are just like Marley who tease us a little bit, but really do care and, and even though she's a little bit of a brat, you know that she means well. The book is full of just very realistic, interactions between characters. Kip is a very polite young man to his aunt and uncle whom he lives with. He is a great artist so he loves to draw and his drawings are an interesting element in the story as well. And going along with Kip's drawings, this book also has beautiful illustrations. I will show you a couple of them really quickly. First of all, this is the front cover of Autumn Eternal and I just love this because it has Kip, Marley, and a strange creature which you will learn more about when you read. I don't want to spoil anything. Here's one where Kip and Marley are looking at the house with the smoke coming out of it in the woods and I think I'll show you in the beginning there's a picture of Kip sweeping the floor of his aunt and uncle's shop where he also lives. It's got you know some pictures to break up the text so that kids aren't feeling like the whole book is a wall of text. They can look over at the pictures. It helps them conceptualize what they're reading. I think it's perfect for the age group it's intended for. I think Kyle Bagsby did a really great job in capturing his audience and making it interesting for everyone reading it. The characters are relatable. They're funny. There are some interesting creatures. It really captures the audience and brings them in and introduces them to the world of fantasy. I think this is a great book. If you have children within the ages of 6 and 14, I highly recommend that you introduce them to this book because it is very cute, 
and I think that everyone should have the chance to read a little bit of fantasy. This has been my review. I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye!